dried strawberries. I'm eating my cereal this morning, and I've got little bits of strawberry in them that are dried. How do they dry them? It'd be a bit like um, curing meat. You would just leave it to dry out. Right, so you just leave the strawberries to dry out. Yeah. They shrivel up. They certainly do. They're a bit sweeter than, you'd, uh, than your standard strawberry, aren't they? I think they do sweeten them a little bit after that, yeah. So they like raisins? They dry them the same sort of... Yeah, they're like little raisins. Well, they just put them out in the lovely sun and let them dry up. <laughs> yes, they do. I don't really fancy leaving my strawberries out in the sun. They just rot. So what's going on? I've come to a fruit farm in Norfolk to find out. Hi, Mark. Annie, nice to see you. Nice to meet you. Nice to see you. Right. Now, Annie, I want to know, how do these start life? Well, we grow a lot of strawberries here on the farm, so do you want to go and have a look? Let's go. Take the lead away. Andy Shepherdson and his crew keep our supermarkets stocked for seven months a year by growing their strawberries in over 100 miles of polytunnels. So how many strawberries would you pick over the course of a day, then? In a day, we can pick up to 35 tonnes in the height of the season. 35 tonnes? Yes. I mean, what does that look like? Probably the size of a football pitch, if you spread them out. Per day? Per day. Wow. These berries look like the cream of the crop, so can they really be going into my muesli? So when I look at these, these little fried beauties, I'd automatically think they're probably second-class strawberries. No, if anything, it's the opposite. They want to be the ripest. The more ripe they are, the more sugar content. So before they become this, you need them to be super sweet? Yeah. The longer the berry is on the plant, the sweeter it gets. Each day, the crop's sugar level is tested. Squeeze some juice on. The berries used for drying can be up to twice as sweet as the fresh ones in our supermarket punnets. Andy and his team hold off the harvest until they hit their sweet peak, and then they're picked and frozen on the same day. All right, so this is ready to go. Perfect for freeze drying, yeah. I'm following Andy's berries to see just how they get these succulent strawberries into my morning muesli. Dinah Morris is the lady with the answers. Hiya. Nice, nice to meet you. you. Nice to meet you. Um, Dinah, what do you do with my strawberries then? I'll tell you what, let me come and show you. OK, lead the way. This facility preserves food products using state of the art technology, and it's all done at sub zero temperatures. So, welcome to a freeze drying room. So, how does this factory work then? So, basically, we've got four freeze dryers on this plant, and we freeze dry about four and a half million kilos of frozen product every year. Four and a half million kilo? Yeah. What, just strawberries, just fruit? No, we do a range of things, meat, seafood, we even do freeze dried meals. Chili con carne, chicken tikka, there's nothing this lot can't freeze dry. The strawberries arrive from the farm already sliced and frozen. Let's do it. Then they're loaded up into the freeze dryer. What we're actually going to be doing here is taking the product down to about a thousandth of atmospheric pressure. Right. So the ice there and the water in the fruit can't exist. You take the water content out? We take the water content out and it gets pulled to a big ice condenser. What now? Shut the big door? Shut the big door okay. and then we turn it on. Inside, the temperature plummets to minus 40 degrees Celsius. Then a vacuum is created that turns the frozen moisture into vapour and draws it out of the strawberries. So, Dinah, I learned at the farm that you guys specifically require a certain sort of sugar content yeah. from strawberries. Why is that? The higher the natural sugars in the strawberry, so right. the better it is for processing because the more strawberries we get out freeze-dried and the sweeter they are. Strawberries are comprised mainly of water and sugar. The more sugar there is in the berry, the less it will shrink up when the water is extracted. So the sugar content makes a huge difference. Yeah. Andy's strawberries will lose 98% of their moisture content and come out the other end looking rather like this. So that's the finished product. Yep, 24 hours. 24 like hours. Later. Right, it's like rose petals. Can I try a few? Of course you can. Well, good. Tastes like strawberry. It tastes like strawberry. I like it. Indeed. Puts a little bit of a smile on my face in the morning. 